It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hogsback Brewery and it's a bottle of their Advent Ale. It's coming in at 4.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. Classic, traditional British brewery is Hogsback Brewery. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsor, beersofeurope.co.uk. So what do you expect from a Christmas ale? Well, I've been reviewing a lot of them recently, so I expect lots of spice. It's a mixture, really. A lot of them are dark ales, a lot of them are more traditional kind of golden ales with spices. I prefer the darker beer, the, the, the roasted malty beer that's added with added spice. It just seems to kind of work better for me um, and my palate. So nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Uh, two finger tan coloured head. Quite clear. If, you, if it was a lighter coloured ale it would definitely be a clear beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, another Christmas beer, another spicy, slightly roasted, malty, biscuity, quite sweet Christmas beer. Let's dive into this one. Cheers. This is a lot more subtle than the beers I've been drinking recently. I'm saying recently and I'm talking about this because um, I didn't really have a gauge before of, of because Christmas beers you review them once a year and you, you kind of you drink a few of them and then they all start to kind of you can start to compare one against another one so rather than lots of cinnamon and lots of spice and lots of coriander and lots of ginger uh, this is more Biscuity malt. It, it's more of a, a dark mild than anything else. Nice level of chocolate malt in this one. Slightly, slightly spicy on the back end. Slightly kind of berryish, and then probably traditional British hops used to bitter the beer. Really drinkable, nice mouthfeel, quite creamy. Yeah, this this for me, this is more of a sessionable drinking Christmas beer. The ones I've been drinking recently, they you kind of you want one beer and then you're ready to move on to something else. With this, I feel in the pub, you really could kind of put three or four of these away. No problem at all. With a meal or with some friends, Christmas party beer, this really could be it. It's more of a sessionable brew. It's subtle in its spices. Yeah, nicely carbonated also. Pretty decent beer. Um, so yeah, the beer was sent to us by beersofeurope.co.uk and they got the 12 beers of Christmas at the moment on their website. Please check it out. Um, you can check out the link for their website on in the comments in the in the description box below. Um, this beer is described as a deep chestnut coloured ale, perfect for enjoying by the fire on the crisp wintry evenings of Advent leading up to Christmas. Our Advent ale is brewed with the finest English, English malted barley and local hops and has a refreshing fruity nose. A sweet licorice flavour and a rich dark chocolate aftertaste. Yeah, most definitely. This is more of a... For me, a dark, mild stroke, kind of very like porter. Do I pick up the licorice flavours that they're describing in the beer? I suppose for me, it's a little bit of a vanilla flavour. And yeah, I suppose at a push, you pick up a little bit of licorice. I like it. I like a beer that I can session. I like beer that I can have one of also. But... I suppose I'm going to put this into a session category beer. So, rating for the Hogshead Brewery Advent Ale, 4.4% ABV. 
I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.